Hello, my friends. We are back today, as you can see, in a uh, familiar setup. If you were here for our Let's Make Some Blue Milk attempt, and we are continuing with another segment tonight of Cooking with Cat or cat cooks, or whatever you would like to refer to it as. Anyways, I would like to just say a huge thank you for the reception on my previous video. I did not think you guys were gonna like it as much as some of you did, but I was very happy to see that some of you enjoyed that, and I was glad that it was not an epic failure. We started with a very easy recipe, and I told myself I would work up to some more difficult ones, uh, but we're not gonna do that tonight. <laughs> This was actually the second recipe that I wanted to try when I opened the book. And today we are going to be attempting something special. We are gonna try to make polystarch portion bread. This is the stuff that Ray makes on Jekku when she's living alone and she literally just like has powder and then adds water and then it turns into bread. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the first time I saw The Force Awakens, I was really enthralled by that and I thought it looked really good. So uh, we're gonna try it out today and see what, um, see what what sustenance Ray was surviving on for all those years on Jack Who. Uh, it's a very simple recipe, however, it is bread, but in terms of how complex bread recipes can be, it requires no bread maker. It literally gets popped in the microwave, which is. It has baking powder, so no matter what, it should take on some form one way or the other. For the most part, very accessible ingredients, stuff that I had already used, stuff that I knew where to purchase, but there was one ingredient that I had to buy for the first time, and that is flakes of dry seaweed. Roasted and seasoned seaweed snacks. I have only ever tried seaweed once, and that went down really poorly because I had sushi for the first time and I made the mistake of taking a bite of it versus putting the whole thing in my mouth, and I was a little bit scarred by how the seaweed behaved during that. So as we did last time, I'm gonna do a quick little taste test of these guys to see uh, before I put it into the recipe because I think that this lends itself more to, I think that this will contribute more to the final aesthetic um, appearance of the, the recipe versus the actual flavor profile itself. So let's give it a quick little taste test just in case. <laughs> this is perfect for ASMR, okay? I know that seaweed is really um, imperative to some cultures, and I do not mean any offense by this at all, I promise. Right out of the gate, it smells really fishy. My gag reflex has been acting up a lot lately. <laughs> I've become really sensitive to smells for some reason. I'm sorry, I can't. I, again, I mean absolutely no offense if you enjoy seaweed, and I know people eat it on a regular basis. We're gonna forgo the seaweed, okay? Again, I think it really contributes mainly to just the final aesthetic. Yeah, I, I, I think unfortunately we're gonna forgo the seaweed. Roast me all you want, call me a weakling, I will take it. You know what, we're not gonna give up, we're gonna keep going, okay. All right, first step is to lightly grease our small bowl slash ramekin with a little bit of oil. And then next we have to move pretty quickly, well not quickly, but once all of the next ingredients are combined. Uh, we do have to move fast to try to form it into the ball shape. So this is this is where we will be preparing it. That's where it's gonna go in the microwave. This is where we're gonna combine all of the remaining ingredients. So in a medium bowl, combine the flour. Okay, how much flour? Oh, there's flour all over this. It's leaking. Oh no. I'm drawing things out, but realistically, this recipe, the directions say that it takes one minute to prep and one minute to cook, but I'm not quick at prep. I like to take my time. Baking powder. What the heck? Can you come help me do this? I think my nails are gonna, Never mind. I gotta, wait. Nope. Can you help me? I got it, never mind, never mind, I got it. I'm strong, okay. Can you tell I never bake? I'm gonna load a little bit on there because I love cinnamon. Okay, that might be too much, it's okay. Followed by just enough water to hold it all together, about two tablespoons. Uh, okay. And then quickly form it into a ball. Ah! I'm literally, I'm literally just using a fork to mix this. This water isn't working. Oh my God, this is not going well. Okay, we added a little bit more water. Come on, combine. Oh my God, this isn't working. It doesn't wanna work. Portion bread, come on. 
Work with me. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I need to add a little bit more water. Ah! Work with me here, work with me. I really, this, this, this is supposed to be easy and it's not being easy. Okay, 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 okay. All right, quickly form into a ball. Okay, 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 okay. All right, maybe I need to just do this bare hands. Okay. Ah! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. All right, I see. All right, it's working, it's working. Quickly form into a ball, I'm trying to just scrape up all the remaining bits and flour, ah! I feel like this isn't really properly combined, but it's fine. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, ah. <laughs> uh, place in the ramekin, it, place the ramekin in the microwave and cook on high, during which time the bread should puff up somewhat, allow to cool slightly before eating. All right, let's pray. See, I feel like I, le I left so much of it like, behind. Oh God, this recipe lied, okay? It said add two tablespoons of water, that was not enough. <laughs> Puffing up. <laughs> That's literally what bread does. I mean. I'm, mm, I mean, final presentation, this definitely, I mean, looks like something that you would eat in the desert. Um, okay, uh, mm, I think I added too much water. It wasn't, all right, F this, we're going again, okay. I'm putting this aside because I do want to cut open into this and see if it even looks like bread and try it, but like, I'm scared. Restart. How could I have messed this up? There's literally t t t four instructions. Maybe I put too much flour because it, it was not mixing for the life of me. Cinnamon. All right, I'm gonna listen to it this time because last time I added more water than it said. Quickly. Like what the heck, this is not enough water. We're not gonna add any more water. We're not gonna add any more. Don't resist. Like. This was not enough water. What are they talking about? All right, I'm literally gonna add just a smidge more. A smidge. <sighs> okay, I listened. I listened to it. There's literally flour all over this thing. Like this is. Okay, it's that's it. Take two. This is an even smaller ball. Like look at all of this that got left over. Oh my. If this is how epically I'm feeling on easy like what's gonna happen when i try to do the harder recipes i'm serious <sighs> oh i can't tell which one looks worse so this was our first one looks Not great, but this is our second one. I'm honestly scared to try this. I honestly don't even want to try these. Poor Ray. All right, we're gonna cut into it and see what it looks like on the inside. This is our first one. Oh, and it, what the heck? Okay, um, here, yeah. It feels very rubbery. Like this feels like I can bounce it. It, all right, that this lighting is definitely making it look like bread. I mean, it smells perfectly fine. Kind of has the consistency of like a really dense pancake. There's only one thing left to do. Uh, I don't know which one to try. Honestly, I want to try the first one. It's like thick. Okay, it, it, it has seemed to thicken up a bit more. All right, here we go. That's the thickest bread I've ever eaten. Take two, we're gonna try this with some butter. Um, I think I was chewing that one bite for like a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I can see how Ray lived off of this. It is 
That is dense AF. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Chewy, mm, it right? It tastes like a pancake. It's extremely chewy. It might be the cinnamon. Well, all that for this. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I would rate this. Um, uh, the the taste and final flavor without butter is like maybe a six out of ten, as far as bread goes. With butter, I'd, I'd say that takes it to a 7.5 or 8. Uh, this humbled me a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this, uh, despite... Um, I'm going hard on it. I'm going hard on myself. It actually, it tastes like fine. You can eat it. Would I make this for myself though for like lunch? Absolutely not. But I can totally see how Ray used to just eat this. That's what is her dinner because this is so thick and filling. I can see how she survived like 19 years off of this stuff. Um, I just, I wish she had some butter. I hope she had some butter or something. Like my jaw hurts from chewing it. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna stop. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us on this uh, second episode here of Cat Cooks. I'm gonna go clean all this up now. I used four bowls to make this, and I literally just did dishes today. <gasps> I'll see you guys again very, very soon. But until then, may the force be with you guys always. Yeah, and I'll see you guys again soon, but I already said that, but it's muscle memory, so I can't not say it. All right, bye. <laughs>